In Lesson 6.2, students continue looking at models of different molecules with the idea that small parts can be arranged and rearranged to make different objects. And in this context, the small parts are atoms can be rearranged to make different molecules. Students are already familiar with the snap cubes from the last lesson, Lesson 6.1, and this time they'll be able to use them to make models of different molecules. Let's take a look. You can show students a model of the molecule in a more traditional way, and then the snap cube version. And then students can make their own using snap cubes. Let's click on water in the upper left-hand corner. It has a little information about water. And then you can click to see the ball model, and it shows you that a water molecule is made up of an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. And then you can click the snap cube version. Then the lesson has a molecule card for each type of molecule. It shows the ball version on the left and the snap cube version on the right. And you can show that to students and help them build their own model. Let's look at another one. How about methane on the upper right? A little information about methane. And then you can click to view the ball model. Here, methane is one carbon and four hydrogens. And the snap cube model, one carbon and four hydrogens. Then you show the molecule card to students and then they make the snap cube model. And there's a total of six different substances which show the ball model and the snap cube model. And then to help students, you can show them quickly how to make some of the molecules. Like for instance, the water molecule would look like this if they're having trouble making it themselves. It's basically using pieces to create new objects, in this case molecules, that's carbon dioxide. And now you can take that apart, use some of the pieces or atoms from the water molecule, and make the methane, which is the one carbon and four hydrogens. I think we show one other example here. This is hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. So that's what you expect students to do. And if they have difficulty, you can help them. Then in the extend part of the lesson, there's a little atom catcher game. I'm not too good at it, but I'll show you how it works. Okay, we can play without sound. Let's try to make a water molecule first. And the way you do it is you try to catch the atoms you need. Whoops. Here comes one. So I have an oxygen. Now I get out of the way and I need a hydrogen. Whoa, don't catch a bomb. That's nitrogen. I don't need that. Whoop, more nitrogen. Whoop. Don't catch a bomb. Don't catch that. So that's one. And you keep going till you get as many as you can in the amount of time given. Ooh. Now I need an oxygen score. So that's how it works. For the NGSS standard 2 PS14, make observations to construct an evidence-based account of how an object made of a small set of pieces can be disassembled and made into a new object. Well, in lesson 6.2, we do that in the context of atoms and molecules. Students use small pieces, snap cubes, as models of atoms to create different objects, molecules. In the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices make observations to construct an evidence-based account for natural phenomena. Well, in this case, the natural phenomena is that atoms join together to make molecules and that different atoms can be arranged in different ways to make the different molecules of different substances. For disciplinary core ideas, structure and properties of matter, a great variety of objects can be built up from a small set of pieces Students have seen this in the last lesson and in this one, 6.2, that the different molecules of substances can be made from a small number of atoms just rearranged differently. Cross-cutting concepts, energy and matter, objects may break into smaller pieces and be put together into larger pieces or may change shape. This is along the same line that these different pieces, in this case, snap cubes as models of atoms, can be taken apart and put together in different ways to make different molecules. So thanks for watching and listening, and good luck with the lesson.